Take the time and visit the website below to vote for Floyd in the new Passport Bro Santo Domingo reality show. If you love Floyd, if you enjoy the way Floyd moves, his hilarious antics, etc., support Floyd by voting now for the Passport Bro reality show. Welcome once again to another episode, another awesome episode of Foreign Only with the one, the only, the legendary, the controversial, but also hilarious and entertaining, Floyd. In this episode of the Just Floyd series, of course we know Floyd has his antics, he has his ways, but Floyd gives a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight. And in this particular incident, he lets he reminds us all why we're a part of the Passport Bro movement. I'm sure you enjoy this compilation. Let's take a listen. American dating culture. Okay, so the American dating culture is very horrific. It's like it's very depressing. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's one of those things that if you look at it, you, you look at the dating culture for what it is, right? And it makes you depressed because you really can't find nothing genuine in America. And as much as I want to say that you can, and I want to be able to do that, uh, you just can't find nothing in America. You can't. What, what, like, what, what are you, you going to find in America? You're going to find a woman that doesn't really care about you unless you got money status in six in a six pack abs. You're not six foot. You're not six figures without a six pack abs. You're not going to get any actual attractive American women to actually genuinely care about you. The women, the women, you know, here in America, it's just not worth the time of day. You're pursuing something that thousands of men are also pursuing. Why, 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 what's the point of trying to compete with other men to get the same woman? There's no point in that. They have so many options, so what's the point? What I recommend in this scenario for you guys that want to date is to go overseas, man. It's not worth, it's not worth trying to fight for these women's affection, their attention and time. Just go overseas, find somebody that works for you, right? There's over a hundred million grown men, a hundred million, we saw this 18 and up. It's over 100 million grown men in the United States. If all of those, if 60 to 70% of those grown men went overseas, they would never care about American women again. The women are only going for the top 10 to 20% of those men. And even those men are getting screwed over by the women. They're getting accused. They're losing their wealth and their, and their money because all they got to do is say, he hit me, he did this to me, and it's over with. It's over with. In the United States, don't want you. You're you what? You you have the same guy for years and you think she's not gonna want something new after a while? We're, we're, we're living in a we're living in a country where you have to continuously compete with each other. These women out here are not as loyal as you think. They're not. You think she is, but she's not. You know how they cheat? They cheat with, uh, they go to the work, they cheat with their co-worker, they cheat with their bosses, they'll cheat with your best friend. Bro, it's easier for them to cheat while they're at work. They go to work and cheating. You know what I mean? You go overseas, you 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 go out and you um, you go out to the store, you can cheat on you then. All it takes is 30 minutes. All you gotta do is plan it out ahead of time. It takes about 30, 15 to 30 minutes to have sex for most people. Women, women out here in America have so many options, they can do it. They can click, go on Snapchat. They can go on Snapchat and be like, hey, I want you to come over right now. My, my boyfriend's gone. My husband's gone. Let me, get my, let me get my guts blown out. Let me get my back blown out. This is what she can say. Right? 
This is what she, even a high value woman, you know how many women I slept with in America? Believe it or not, I get women, especially in Nebraska, where they had a boyfriend. I didn't know about it. They had a boyfriend. These women are not loyal as you think. And you see them, they, they smile in their pick family photos and they're going like this. They're smiling. They're saying, hey guys. Me and my husband, me and my boyfriend and our kids, and she getting her back blown out by the Puerto Rican man that you see in the, in the background. These women are not loyal. And I know that you want to say that they are, but let's just be real about it. Realistically, if there's something new and there's something better, she going to... That's what she going to do. It's, 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 it is what it is, man. The women have been conditioned now to get something better than what they had originally. It's the truth. It sucks, but it is what it is. So the best way to combat this issue is to stop dealing with it. Overseas, overseas, you have a far, a far more opportunity to be with that person that actually cares about you in overseas. And the difference between dating America and dating overseas is that the women overseas are far more likely to treat you right and actually give you more time of day. As a woman in America would not, because at the end of the day, she got all these options. She got all these options. She got all these options. We still hit that 167. The fundraising didn't stop, but I said I wouldn't talk about it as much as I'm not going to. So the women in America, they're not worth it. They're not worth it. They're not worth the time. They're not worth the day. They're not worth anything. These women are just not worth it. I'm sorry, but the only thing American women are good for is a good time, and that's it. But even then, you're risking too much. Because if you're a successful man, I'm not successful, but if you're a successful man who's making money, who's out here being rich, got millions of dollars coming in, hundreds of thousands of dollars coming in every year. And you got a nice house living your best life and you're a single man. Best believe you're going to have to deal with women that might falsely accuse you. They might say, hey, they might say, hey, you know, I want this car. Or I want us to be in a serious relationship with each other. And you just dare to, you just had to hit it and quit it. You know what I mean? You're there just getting it in and pushing her out the way. And she may not like that. She may not like that. So what she might do, what she might do is make it, if she's like, if I can't have him, nobody can, right? Nobody can have me. You know what I mean? So now she's going to make false accusations. She's going to try to ruin your career reputation. And most of these sims that come on here will say, he did it. He did it. He did it. We know he did it because she says she did it. He did it. Women, yes, that's what I'm saying. Even the rich men get cheated on. Even the men in a do they get cheated on? They don't, they want, they're not content. They're not content. Instead of talking it and getting it resolved and working it out, they want to go and with other men. And, and I'm gonna be real honest with you, man. It, it's not, it's not worth it. You dealing with women who don't care about you. You're you're dealing with women. Who don't care about you? I love America. I love for the opportunities you can possibly have, the American dollar. I love the freedom that we have, the so called freedom, because we ain't got much of a left. I do love this country. I love the infrastructure of America, because compared to other countries, America has great infrastructure, great, great job opportunities as well. There are people in a foreign country who came and work, and they were not able to work. They're able to do Uber and Lyft, they're able to give food. And the apps provide these jobs for these other countries. But a lot of the times, a lot of these countries, they don't have job opportunities. So I guess, in a sense, there's a trade-off, right? So if you want a foreign woman in, in, in South America or Asia, you're going to have to deal with the less conveniences that you have in, in America. But at the end of the day, man, a man can make something happen if he, if he really wants to. Women... In foreign countries will give you more time. But hey, oh, it's because you're American. Well, I mean, a woman in America wants you because you got money, right? Or you got a big wee wee. Or you got six packs abs. Or you're six foot tall. You know what I mean? So 
Women want you for something. There's nothing free in life. If you want something free in life, go back to your mom because that's the only thing that's going to be free in your life. These women is the women out here. We're going to look at that, that super channel. Right? The women out here, I'm going to tell you this right now. The women out here in America are not worth it. I will not go to war with my, if If the military told me and came to me and said, hey, look, do you want to fight for American women? I would say, fuck no. I would not fight for you. Why would I fight for a woman who won't even give me the time of day? They won't even give me a glance. They won't even look in my direction. Don't look at me and say, this guy ugly, he's weird looking. You don't even get to know me. So why would I fight for a country, fight for these women who don't even care about you? I'm not going, you're not drafting me. I'm going to just go to prison because I'm not about to sit here. I'm not fighting for this. I'm not fighting for American women, bro. If it was like, hey, this country's under attack, and our freedom is at risk. That's something to fight for. You women coming too. You women getting drafted too. You guys coming to war too. I'm not going to sit here and fight for women while she going out to the party getting laid by other men that doesn't care about her, bro. I'm not, I'm not fighting for that. I'm not fighting. But if, if, if the military came and said, hey, look, both men and women are getting drafted. We need to fight for your country. Our freedom is on the line here. We can lose our country if we, if we, don't, if we don't draft as many people as possible for this war. That's something to fight for. But I'm not going to fight for these women. I'm not fighting for these females. I'm not fighting for these females. Women in America, they're not worth it. They're not, I don't give a fuck. They're not, I'm not, I will not fight for you. Get mad all you want. I will not fight for you. And I'm, then there are men that think the same way. There are men in this country that think exactly how I think. If the military came to you and said, hey, hey, you want to go to war for American women? Because America, let's just say our American women way of life is in jeopardy, right? Let's just say there's some made up shit, shit about women. Like, our American women need your help in fighting in this war. I would look at them. I would look at the military. I would look at the people who are telling me this and laugh right in their face and slam the door. Ain't nobody fighting for you guys. You know why? Because you don't give us the time of day. You know, you won't even thank us. I held the door open for women instinctively because I'm a man, I'm a good guy. And I, I did it instinctively. And I said, hey, I, and I, I didn't expect shit. But the chick looked at me and just mean mugged me. I'm like, I just opened the door for you. Like, you can at least say thank you, woman. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say, 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 say it with me, woman. Thank you. Thank you. These women don't care about you. So why the fuck would I lay my life down for these women, bro? Because I still, if a woman's getting jumped, I'm not getting involved. I'm not, I'll call the cops. That's as much as I want to do. I'll call the cops. The cops, I'll be like, 911, there's a woman being uh, uh, messed with at this address here. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. Let me get it. Let me get the police there immediately. Immediately. Get the police there immediately. You're not going to help me. No. 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 No, sweetheart. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to die for you, sweetheart. Because you probably got a boyfriend. Call your boyfriend. Tell him, to, tell him to help you. I'm not helping you. You know. No. Because you're not worth it. You're not worth it. These women out here are not worth it. They're, they're, they're disgusting. It's not worth it. You, oh, you're just mad because you can't get none. I don't want none. I'm just telling you guys not to waste your time dealing with women in America. Don't waste your time with these women in America. It's not worth it, bro. It's it's the, the culture has changed. This isn't the 1950s or the 1960s. Okay, this is 2024, where black women don't need no man. They don't need no man. They don't need no man. Mm -hmm. They don't need no man. And they say that. You know, the women, you know, we're strong and independent. We can do everything you can do. They like to slap men, too. They love hitting men. Here's another thing. If you allow women to progress towards you in a negative way and you let it keep going up, it's just going to get worse. Like, if a woman disrespects you in front of your people, you got to put that shit down immediately. You got to tell her, look. You got to tell her, look. You need to stop that. And if, she, and, if, and, if, and if you don't check her, why well, you have the opportunity to check her? She's going to feel like she can do anything she wants. And then she's going to hit you. 
It's going to get used to hitting you, and it's going to go from her hitting you to actually hitting you with weapons, and it's going to go from hitting you with weapons to actually calling the cops and making shit up. See, a lot of these guys be in these relationships where the woman will initiate the 911 phone call to the police and lie, right? And they lie on these guys, and then they get they get, they get charged with domestic violence. Oh, I love her. She's just mad. She doesn't know better. If a woman ever calls a cop, even threaten to call a cop, I'm cutting her off. I'm going to be nice to her. I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry, baby. And I'm, I'm a ghost that bitch. That this king will never hear from me again. Never. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this compilation. If there are any moments that you'd like to see on these compilation series, comment below. We're looking at the comments and we'll be more than happy to add it. And also, if you like your boy Floyd, be sure to hit the Cash App. Support the content because it's going to help our guy Floyd get back overseas. Be sure to tune in this Friday as we'll be diving in into some Dominican Republic content that you haven't seen and you definitely don't want to miss until next time